Hi, my name is Jenny Lindley. I am a broker. I have a brokerage in Louisiana called GL Realty Group. I have 13 agents in the office, been in real estate since 2009, and I wanted to talk about for sale by owners today. So we're all at home and there's a lot of things going on right now that are out of our control, but the one thing that is still moving, at least in our community, has been real estate. And for sale by owners is something that doesn't get talked about a lot anymore. Um, a lot of the big topics that real estate coaches and trainers are, are presenting have to do with creating content, social media, um, email sequencing, uh, funnels, all these different things. But I wanted to dive back into good old fashioned for sale by owner, door knocking, phone calling, um, getting in front of the public and, um, and getting to know people and creating that relationship. So that is what Let's Talk for Sale by Owners is about this little video clip that I'm creating right now. So when you approach those that are choosing to sell on their own, is how I like to describe it. Um, they're not a FISBO, they're not a for sale by owner. They are people that have chosen to try to sell their house on their own. So when you approach them, you don't want to go at them aggressively. You don't want to, you know, think, um, let me list your house. I'm going to give you a great deal. And how I can't believe you think you can sell your house on your own. You know, real estate agents sell X amount of percent more houses than for sale by owner. People who go for sale by owner do. Like, they don't want to hear all that. They can easily do a Google search and find all the stats they want to hear. What they want, if they want, is someone to talk to them like a normal human being, to offer help, to give value, to actually care about serving them. So it's not about getting the listing. It's not about how much money can I make on this sale. Um, those are, people can feel that, they sense that. So when you jump on a phone call and the first thing you say is, let me list your house, or I want to list your house, or you know, how much are you asking for your house? You know, a lot of those really uh, insensitive type questions because what you're really getting at is that I know the market, I can do it better. Why are you trying to do it like this? Your house is overpriced, you'll never sell it. You know, all those feelings, all those thoughts, they show. People don't wanna hear that. So when I call a for sale by owner, when I call another human being who's trying to sell their house on their own, I'm asking questions that, how can I help you? Is there anything that you need? Can I give you some documents? May I see your house? Because next time I have an, a client who is interested in something just like what you have, may I call you? Can I call you? Those are the types of questions that I would ask once you get on the phone with someone who's selling their house on their own, or once you get into that face-to-face -face conversation, that first meeting, if they invite you into their house and want to show it to you, thank them. The next day, send them a thank you card. Acknowledge them giving you that opportunity to see their home and to possibly work with them in the future. And while you might not get their listing, you might get a referral to their cousin or brother or uncle or sister who wants to sell their house and you made an awesome first impression because you weren't aggressive. You weren't just worried about how it can help you. You were really authentically worried about how it could help them. How can you help them? How can you serve them? And I think that's what's going to get you more business in the future. Um, there's many different ways that you can work with those that are selling their house on their own. You can work with them as a buyer side agent. You might have a buyer and they might be willing to work with you. Um, you can list their house. They might throw their hands up and say, hey, you know what? You have been so amazing over the last couple months. And this is an honest conversation that I had with someone. You've been so amazing over the last couple months. Thank you so much for showing our house when you've had clients who were interested in something like ours. We no longer want to do this on our own and we would like to hire you.
okay. That honestly happened to me and it, it was great. And it made me feel so good, not only because I got the listing, but because they saw all the things that I was doing and it was genuine and they felt that it was genuine and then they wanted to work with me moving forward. And I still keep in touch with these people. If they ever have any real estate questions, they always reach out to me. So it's amazing what being authentic, being genuine, what that can do for your business, not just for that deal, but for your business as a whole, because we are playing an infinite game. It's not a game that has an end date. It's an infinite game. For some of us, we might want to our companies might outgrow us, outlive us. So that's the game that I'm shooting for. So another way that you can work with a, um, a house that is for sale by owner is by doing paperwork for that person. So again, true story, I had someone call me. They got my name from someone else in the area and said, hey, I have my house for sale by owner. I'm not looking to list it and I don't even need you to show it. But once I find a buyer, can I call you and can you handle all the paperwork for me? Sure, absolutely. And what does that look like as far as what do you charge? What are your fees to do something like that? So I put together a proposal and it is a paperwork only um, house that's for sale by owner proposal and what I would charge to do that. And in that proposal, I listed all the things that I would do and then I listed my fee. I sent it over to the owners. They agreed that it was fair. They said, absolutely, we'd love to work with you. We got the commission agreement signed and then I started working with them. I handled all the paperwork. I, um, I probably went above and beyond what was asked of me or what I said that I would do because that's just my nature. But you know, I met with these buyers who hadn't bought a house in years. I sat down and I had a consultation with them. It, it's not about the money. It is about relationships and building a reputation of someone who gives value, someone who serves others, someone who has the knowledge and that can share it. Y'all, knowledge, it's a commodity. Information is a commodity. Anybody can Google anything, but if you sit down in a room with someone and you actually, actually care about the process that they are going through and you take the time to explain it to them and even give them, you know, the tips and tricks that you do personally, like that goes so far. It goes a long way with people. People don't forget those things. There's this quote. I love, I love this quote. I put it on the back of a lot of cards that I do is that um, people will forget what you did They'll forget what you said, but they will never forget how you made them feel. And I probably said it wrong. It is a uh, Maya Angelou quote, but I truly believe that people will never forget how you made them feel. They'll remember that forever. I remember things like that. So again, working with um, those that are selling their homes on their own, they may not want to talk to us. I've had many people hang up on me. I've had many people tell me they don't want to work with a real estate agent and that's fine. Um, but I've had more than half of all the people that I've talked to and went on face-to-face -face appointments with end up working. We end up working together in some form or another, whether it be a full listing, whether it be because I had a buyer, whether it be paperwork only, or, I mean, they referred me to their family and their friends. That's happened as well. And that's the kind of business that I want to build. That's the kind of business that we as realtors should want to build. It's an infinite game, not a finite game. And that's coming directly from a book that I'm in the middle of called The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek. So go check that out. Um, it's amazing, especially for myself as an independent broker, you know, I can't compete with a lot of these major companies when it comes to numbers and money, but hey, when it comes to drive, compassion, caring, authentic, authenticity, being authentic and genuine and caring about my community and my clients and my agents, that, you know, that for me, that, that book was huge. So 
is huge. It means a lot. So anyway, so that's a little for sale by owner. Um, drive by, walk through, however you want to call it. Um, sharing these tips and insights, how I run my business, how you can run your business. If you have any questions, please reach out to me again. My name is Jenny Lenley. I am a, um, I'm a real estate broker and I own a brokerage in Luling, Louisiana, and um, I'm here to help. So if I can answer any questions, please reach out. I have a Facebook page, Jenny Lindley Coaching, um, as well as a website, JennyLindleyCoaching.com. See ya.